What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today I have something very weird and uh, very different for you guys. I've seen Wrestling Days do this, I've seen Bretto Live do this. A few other people have probably done it in the past, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to put a little extra spin on it. This is the first ever MDT 55-man battle royal right here. What I'm going to do is, as you see here, I've loaded up the ring. I'm going to do a full swipe like this, see who holds on, and we're going to go all the way to the end until only one superstar is remaining. But I have a few twists on mine. I'm going to make a custom WWE figure championship called the MDT Battle Royal Championship. And it's going to be completely custom made. And I will pose the figure that wins the thing on my shelf with the belt, update you guys, you know, how long they've been reigning champion, yada, yada, yada. And I guess each and every month, once a month, I will do one of these battle royals. But I do have a few ground rules. Um, first of all, if you get eliminated on the first swipe, my first swipe like this, if you fall out of the ring, you are automatically eliminated from next month's, uh, you know, MDT Battle Royal. So if you get eliminated on that first swipe, man, you are out of there for at least two months. You can come back the following month, but for the first month, you are completely out of there. Um, I didn't add any customs in here or anything like that. I picked, you know, my basic figures of some super, uh, some superstars. I picked, you know, my duplicates, stuff like that. I didn't obviously want to throw my BEW customs or my Showstopper custom figs figures in there and, you know, get them all knocked around and stuff. So, as you see, the Undertaker right here, he is a basic. A lot of them are basics. I tried to not to use my elites. I do have a custom Jeff Hardy in there because I like my Mattel ones better. So I wanted to throw a Jeff Hardy in there, make sure he's in there. You know, we got Finn Balor, John Cena, AJ Styles, Shinsuke, Dolph Ziggler, uh, a lot of good names in here. Brock Lesnar, Braun Strowman, and there are no duplicates. That's number rule number two is no duplicates. So I don't have like you know some superstars twice or anything. This is all just one superstar of each that I could think of. We do have Wade Barrett in there, Rey Mysterio, The Rock, some guys like that. Ultimate Warrior. You know I threw some legends in there. No Stone Cold, no HBK right now. Maybe they can make it in the next one. But let's go ahead, guys. I'm just gonna do a swipe. And we'll see who's remaining. And I'm not going to do... If they're hanging on, you know, if they're hanging on, they're in. I'm not going to, you know, knock them off. I'm going to keep them in there and see how it goes. But let's go ahead and start this battle royal. All right, guys. Here we go. First swipe. I'm kind of afraid. Uh, I feel like they're going to fall over, knock down my barricade, and then knock over every single thing. But I guess we'll just have to live with it if that happens. Also, I'm afraid if they go over the ropes, they're going to pull in the turnbuckle and snap everything to hell. So I'm kind of afraid of that. But here we go with no further ado. And it looks like I don't think anybody got eliminated. I don't think anybody fell out of the ring on the first swipe. So I guess nobody is eliminated from the uh, second battle royal. Would you look at that? Nobody fell out of the ring. That is completely insane. I did not expect that at all. I guess all these competitors really want that battle royal championship. So I'm going to stand them back up and see how we go for swipe two. All right, guys. So it took a while to set those guys back up. So hopefully somebody gets eliminated on this one. I actually did a second swipe just like this before you see this third swipe. It's the second swipe you're going to see on this video, but it's actually the third one because I did it again and nobody got eliminated again. And I think that's because the uh, ring ropes are really, really tight compared to the Wicked Toys ring. So they don't, you know, they're not just flail. These are actually really tight. They're very nice and they do support. So, um... I'm guessing that's why nobody gets eliminated, so what I may have to do is like lift up the ring, or I may have to do a lower swipe, or like just pop them up. I don't really exactly know, but we're going to get all these guys eliminated until there's only one standing. I just don't know how I'm going to do it just yet. Alright guys, so what I've decided to do is, I think I'm just going to like lift it up just a little bit, and see how it goes. I'm just going to do like a quick little jerk up, and see who gets eliminated, because I know for a fact if I do another swipe and nobody falls out, I'm going to get really pissed off, because I've literally tried it three two or three times now and they won't get eliminated so here we go with the pop-up all right guys let's see how this goes now <laughs> as you see these guys aren't getting eliminated so I don't really know what to do all right guys so after many many failed attempts at trying to get these mother effers over the ropes I went ahead and took them off just because you guys saw the clips. They were just not budging. Even if I popped the ring up, these guys just didn't want to leave. So I went ahead and took the ropes off. I had to switch out the arena for vindication anyway. So might as well get it going here and start it off. I'm just going to do a swipe now and we'll see who gets eliminated. I guess if you're eliminated on this first go around, you will be eliminated from the first battle royal. Um, and you will not be eligible for the one next month, but the month following. So let's go ahead and get it started. 
All right, had some had some good eliminations here. We had uh, we had some Ultimate Warrior, some Jeff Hardy, Jason Jordan, Big Cass, Baron Corbin, Ryback eliminated, Cesaro barely hanging on through there, as you can see. Um, we also got some guys on the floor: Triple H, Enzo, Luke Gallo, Sami Zayn, and unfortunately Seth Rollins and Carl Anderson both eliminated on that side. I'll have to check behind the ring before I set them up for round two. As you can see, guys, back here, Brock Lesnar and Neville and Kevin Owens are all saved by the barricade on the back, and I'm going to count that. They are in, and if you can zoom in right behind Ziggler here, you will see AJ Styles' boot. If you can see back there, he barely survived. He's literally hanging on his... He's not touching the ground. I went over there and looked. I checked underneath. I can't get the camera back there, but we do have some unfortunate eliminations. Dean Ambrose... And it looks like Big E, Kofi Kingston are also eliminated, but we have saved AJ Styles. Just to make sure you guys got that, look at this right here. AJ Styles held down by Dolph Ziggler and Sting. He is not hitting the ground. Uh, the people over here were actually Xavier Woods, Dean Ambrose, and Apollo. I could not tell who they were, but now, um, upon further investigation, these are all the survivors of swipe number one. So I'm going to set them back up and go for round two. Here are all the notables. Um, that were eliminated in swipe one. I think it's a total of around 20 maybe. Let's see. Yeah, so 15 total. Um, 15 total guys eliminated. So we have 40 left to crown our first ever MDT Battle Royal Champion. All right, guys, time for the next swipe again. All those names you just saw are eliminated from next month's uh, Battle Royal. So all the people in here will be able to compete next month. But I am excited to see... Who survives? You know, Cesaro and AJ Styles were very, very close to getting eliminated, so it'll be exciting to see if anybody does that this time. So here we go with round two. And AJ Styles did bite the dust this time, as you see over here. Shane McMahon's head is touching the floor, so he is indeed eliminated. Um, we got some guys on the floor. Shinsuke, Samoa Joe, TJP. Daniel Bryan right down here in front. I'm going to have to check the back. It seems as if Sting has barely hold, held on there. But for the most part, we did have a few eliminations. It looks like James Ellsworth right here is the only one that is even standing. So hats off to James Ellsworth. All right, guys, on to the next round here. This time I'm going to go through the middle and kind of do like this, see if we can narrow it down here as we come to the end. Instead of going one way, that way, you know, I'm not showing favoritism or anything like that. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so we got Braun Strowman, John Cena, Undertaker, James Ellsworth, The Rock. Um, it looks like Finn Balor on this side has barely hung on. You can get a shot at this right here. So you see Goldberg, Rusev, and Sting are eliminated, but Finn Balor is hanging on barely. And on this side, we do have some notable eliminations, and John Cena, Strowman, and Undertaker all gone. All right, guys, I believe we are down to the final 19 or 20 or so. We got Rob Van Dam, Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens, Brock Lesnar, Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, to name a few. So what I'm going to do is just do a swipe like this since uh, everybody's pretty much lined up the same, and we'll go from there. Oh, I thought Cesaro was going to stay there. Cesaro is eliminated. So we have four more eliminations. It looks like Miz, Cesaro, the Big Dog, and Goldust all gone. I don't think there's any in the back here. Rey Mysterio is the only one standing. Oh, I was mistaken. Big Show did also fall out. So here we are on to the next round. All right, ladies and gentlemen, down to 14 total contestants. Kane, Finn Balor, Dolph Ziggler, Kevin Owens, Brock Lesnar, Jericho, RVD all remain here, just to name a few. Some underdogs, we got Simon Gotch and Mojo Rawley here, as well as Wade Barrett in the back. So this will be interesting to see who survives. And Mojo Rawley has been eliminated, and it looks like Wade Barrett is in the back and surviving. So I think on my next swipe, guys, I'm going to hit the piss out of it to see if we can finally crown a champion. All right, guys, only one elimination last round, Mojo Rawley. So my wife had a beautiful idea. Instead of, like, swiping, I'm going to, like, karate chop action. Use your karate chop action. Hey, hey, how you doing that? I'm like this right here and see if I can cut tackle him out of the ring. Um, maybe this will be the last round. Who actually knows? But um, here we go without further ado. Okay, well, they did slide, and it eliminated five people. So it did do better, I guess. We got Brock Lesnar. No, Brock Lesnar, is he is he eligible? Is he actually eligible here? He is above. He is on Simon Gotch and Kevin Owens. He's actually not touching the ground. I'm going to leave him in there because that's not an elimination. Cactus Jack, unfortunately, is gone. 
and so is Chris Jericho. So it looks like Brock Lesnar is going to survive on to the next round. All right, guys, we're down to nine combatants here, and my wife said last time that it didn't follow through with the swipe, so this time I'm going to try to follow all the way through. I guess what I'm trying not to do is like hit anything. I'm just trying to swipe and get out of there. So what I'm going to try to do is just chop through and see if, you know, we can get some eliminations. I'm going to try not to stop halfway through. Um, hopefully not everybody gets eliminated, but um, here we go. All right, so Dolph Ziggler finally gets eliminated right here. Seeing almost Neville, RVD, and Rey Mysterio. And here are the remaining four. We got Brock Lesnar, Kane, Wade Barrett, and Finn Balor, if I already didn't say that. But, um, yeah, I feel like I did stop halfway again. I probably did, but um, we're down to the final four. All right, guys, so it is the final four. We got Finn Balor, Wade Barrett, Kane, and Brock Lesnar to see who becomes the first ever MDT Battle Royal Champion. Here we go. I'm going to try not to. I want to give everybody an equal chance. Should I just, like, chop down the middle? Like, chop it like this? I'll just chop it down the middle, and I guess uh, if it doesn't do anything, it doesn't do anything, but at least we'll know. So here we go. All right, so Finn Balor and Wade Barrett are eliminated. We are down to Kane and Brock Lesnar. All right, guys, here we go. Final round, all or nothing. I'm going to do just like I did last time. I'm just going to chop it right down the middle. I'm kind of glad this happened this way because I got two good figures here, two elites, so they won't look stupid with the championship. It'll be really fun to see. But here we go. I'm going to try to, you know, hit it in the middle so nobody is biased. I like both of these guys, so it's not like I want one of them to win. You know, it's not one of my favorite wrestlers of all time or anything. So here we go. Without further ado, championship round. And Brock Lesnar! Brock Lesnar is your champion. He's the first ever MDT Battle Royal champion. Kane is eliminated. And that is it for the Battle Royal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Brock Lesnar has defeated Kane in the final round of the MDT Battle Royal. First ever champion. We'll have to see if he can retain next week. Um, or not next week, but next month. You know, it's going to be really hard. It's going to be, like, impossible because he'll have to defend it against 54 other men. The runner-up, Kane, is eliminated. And this is pretty crazy, guys, because if you remember, I'll show a flashback right here. This man survived because he, was, he landed on top of, uh, I think it was Kevin Owens and Sting and kept himself in the match, and he went on to win the thing. And I don't think it could go either, like, any other way. I think that's beautiful that that happened that way. You guys witnessed it yourself. I was literally not trying to let this man survive. He did it. He is the first ever MDT Battle Royal Champion. I'll have to get that championship made, and I will show you guys. And he, he will be posed with it. And congratulations to Brock Lesnar. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, a little bit different. Um, shout out to Wrestling Days and Burnout Live for the idea of this video. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.